Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Showdown series. Wow, EA, I was not familiar with your game. That's what I'm gonna say. I know you're trying to drain coins and drain fodder from our clubs ahead of Foot Birthday, but I did not expect the Showdown SBCs to be this good. Cards that directly go into our team. Very meta cards and upgradable even further with the live aspects of this promo and an evolution that is way better than expected. Guys, there's a lot to be excited about with the SBCs that dropped yesterday, and that also continues into what could happen today. Daily Showdown SBCs, we've got the campaign re-release of a lot of different cards and packs, and we've got an objective that gives out tons of XP that was needed, and EA's going crazy with the store packs. So, we have a lot to talk about today, a lot to go over market-wise and content-wise, especially about how it's going to continue today on Saturday. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over all of the stuff that we had yesterday in a concise and proper manner. Let's start with the stuff that happened before content, right? We had Road to the Final upgrades and we had some very nice ones at that the best upgrade was 100 percent to the sbc of kimmich he finally got that plus one upgrade he goes from eight it goes from 82 pace to 84 they gave him plus two pace on this card i think they also might have given him plus two passing um i forget where he got his other plus two but that is a really big upgrade for kimmich and makes him a lot more usable with that big pace boost donnarumma tony cruz and gavardio also getting upgraded it was nice to see that we're going to be getting um more upgrades to road to the final cards i believe next week as we have more games that will be happening it is champions league time and those upgrades are coming out so that was very very nice now also yesterday before the content drop we had player of the month sbcs this should have let us know that we were going to have a good day of content because we had not one but two really good potms the first of which and i think this is the better one of the two paulo dibala flare plus not that exciting but finesse plus and a four star weak foot upgrade for dibala this is a very good boost over his other 89 rated cards he can play striker he can play right wing if you're looking for a budget SBC to craft for a card that is going to be very very solid or if you need links in a Serie A squad this is a card for you only 180,000 coins and he is very very highly upvoted 92 percent I think it's that highly upvoted because of the price the player that you're getting how good he is in game those stats and just it's, it's Dybala right really really good SBC from EA there there's not a really else much else to say there except it is a really really nice SBC that was the first of two player the ones that we had yesterday we also had we knew this was coming, forgot to really announce it in yesterday's video, but the play of the months usually come on Fridays, especially for Prem. We have Hoyland, and it's not his highest rated card, but in my opinion, guys, this is better than his future stars. I know you're like, Nate, look at the passing. There's a huge difference. The future stars is way better, right? I disagree. The play styles that this card has compared to the other one, the work rate change that this one has really suits him better for his build in the game, in my opinion. Two playstyle pluses of Aerial and Quick Step, 4-4, four, four, high, high work rates, right? Remember that Future Stars card has medium high work rates for a striker. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for how most people will want to use the card. But this card with the Aerial Plus, with 98 heading, 96 jumping, great shooting, finishing statistics, and good playstyles all around. Power header, power shot, ping pass, rapid, quick step plus, and of course the Aerial Plus. If you like to cross the ball and score headers, and have a target man in the box, this is your guy. He's only 80,000 coins to complete. Very solid SBC for a lower budget. It's only one squad as well, which is the best, right? One in form, an 86 rated squad. You get yourself a Hoyland. Yes, he's only 88 rated, but I think that's the best version of Hoyland in the game. I'm going to be completely honest. I think that's better than his Future Stars card. So if you want that card, go ahead and craft it. That was a WSBC. Now, before we get to more WSBCs, I'm going to go take a quick side road here and go talk about the objectives where there's a lot going on in objectives as well yesterday because we have a daily showdown challenge completion this this kind of ties to the daily showdown sbc that is in the challenge section make sure you do that you get an 83 times two every single day for doing that there's a whole lot of free packs in here free packs if you will they do kind of tie to objectives with gameplay or sbcs but a whole lot of packs in here for just playing the game or doing a very simple sbc the fantasy fc daily play is back 
I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. Those rewards were really good. 85 times 4, 84 5, 84 4 for getting this done every single three games, every single day. Now, also, another daily gameplay grind is this one. This is the real big one the NWSL countdown completionist, right? As the season for NWSL is starting, EA is giving us a countdown where you play two games each day. Each day it is. At this at first, this timer was like glitched out and it was messing up. Two games each day with three NWSL players in your starting eleven. You get an 84 plus player pack, an 82 2 and an 81 double. But you do that four different days, and then you play three matches with all of these three moments cards. Don't put these into a exchange. Don't just put these into SBC right away, guys. Pickett, Fleming, and Labanta. Make sure you keep those, play three extra games, and you get four thousand xp this is like this is almost like ea saying hey we forgot to give out a lot of xp during the course of the season and since the season is ending this next week we're going to give you another chance to get a lot of xp um this is how they're doing it like that is a lot of xp guys and this is massive i was needing this xp i know some of you guys were as well and it is so easy to do but what do we know when there is xp on the line and specific players that are needed to be completing that XP, the prices of those players, if they're on the market, go crazy. NWSL cards are absolutely flying. One of the NWSL cards I think of right away is Sophia Smith, Trailblazers, right? This card yesterday, I believe, was 150,000 coins. She is up over almost 100,000 coins. She's 230, 250. Huge rise on this card and so many other NWSL cards, even like the gold cards, guys. So, if you have any of those in your club, especially if they're special cards, you don't have to have the best and biggest versions to get this objective done. Just go get it done in a squad battles game and uh, start with those NWSL players. Maybe do an Evo and get some progression through that while you're at it. It's very, very easy to get done, and it is so worth it because you literally just do two games a day with those NWSL players. Then you play three more at the very end, and you get yourself some good packs and 4,000 XP. So that's a huge W, in my opinion from the objectives yesterday but it is moving the market a little bit um so yeah ggs to ea we, we love that love that xp and also we love uh the players that come out of it they're not that crazy um but it's really just for the xp and the packs that you get which are nice now let's get to the big stuff okay and i've already started on one of the sbcs i didn't have a whole lot of fodder in my club yesterday and i did do a couple of other sbcs but i started crafting a kanji because wow when we loaded into content yesterday and saw these SBCs, I was just genuinely shocked. I did not expect EA to go all out. We have two playstyle pluses on these cards. We were talking about them being 87 or 88 rated. They are 89 rated. This Bobby Clark got a plus 32 overall. Four star, four star, high, high work rates. Uh, press proven and ping pass plus playstyle. He can also play CDM and left wing. And look at those stats. An absolutely unbelievable card in terms of the statistics. He's going to be very, very good in game. Finesse, incisive pass, a long ball, intercept, and en relentless energizer battery. Like, really, really good card. Insane, insane card. And yeah, it's going to have to be a little expensive. It's not going to be a 200,000 coin SBC, guys, for a player of this caliber. But only 388,000 coins, in my opinion, that's not bad. If you're a Liverpool fan, this card is one that you do because he's probably not going to get a promo card for the rest of this year for sure. This is his first promo card ever. What an insane card. And I know not a lot of people are doing this. You look at the SBC and it's only 26% upvoted because this is once again a showdown. And I think people are backing Manchester City to win this game, even though it is at Anfield. Guys, Liverpool 100% have a chance. I think Salah is back. It's it's going to be a really, really good game, and this game is on Sunday. So right now, if you want to do either of these two SBCs, which I would recommend doing either of them or both, just because, A, even if whatever player you do, if their team loses, that is still a very usable, very meta card in the current station of the state of this game and the way we are at in the power curve. That card's crazy, right? Now, the one that I think is actually a little bit more crazy and people realize that, and also I think people favor Manchester City to win this game, is Akanji. What a card, man. I mean, look at the face stats. Three-star, four-star, medium-high work rates. He's got block plus. He's got intercept plus. 89 defending, 89 physical, and 85 pace. An absolutely mental, mental card. You look at the in-game statistics. 
What center back has 95 short pass and long pass? This guy is going to be automatic from getting it out of the back to your center defensive mids, your left back, right back, or maybe even throwing a long through ball to somebody up the side of the pitch to get your attack going. That is insane passing stats. I know the rest of his passing stats aren't that good, but those are crazy. Um, and the rest of the defending stats look nuts. And then you go to the play styles. And this might be the best combination of play styles on basically any center back in the game. He's got anticipate. He's got intercept plus block plus jockey he even has ping pass long ball pass with those passing stats insane slide tackle first touch which is a little random but then he has aerial which is huge right aerial you guys know for center backs for winning headers is so so massive this center back card is nuts okay absolutely unbelievable from ea with this sbc release here 363,000 coins to do he has got 1600 upvotes on the card himself the sbc has got an 84 percent completion rate as well on footbin people expect city to win i'm just being honest um they think that they have a higher likelihood chance of winning i will say guys this game can end in a draw right again plus two is how it works for whoever wins if liverpool win bobby Clark plus two if City win, Akanji plus two. If the game ends in a draw, points are shared one apiece, they will each go up plus one. So the potential upgrades that we have here, the prices that these cards already are for how juiced they are, these SBCs are insane. They literally go straight into our teams. For most of you guys, these cards are very capable of going into squads. And I even think, guys, 360,000 coins for either of these two SBCs, 370, is not bad. Like, SBCs like this could be very very overpriced and they're not like that is a very very good price point for those sbcs but oh wait there's more just because you know your favorite player that you did from those two evolutions potentially could get upgraded it doesn't stop there this is where it gets even more crazy a free evolution that upgrades players that have already been upgraded i mean yes there's already cards you can upgrade through this. I have nobody in my club that is a showdown upgraded card already, like Malcolm or Sangare, like a lot of people are seeing. But let's say let's say City win, all right? Akanji, he goes from an 89 rated to a 91 rated card. What could he look like at the very end of this? Well, let's just look at what happens if City wins. This is what Akanji's card is going to look like. 87 pace, 91 defending, 91 physical, 85 passing. Correct. This is what Bobby Clark would look like. 89, 89, 92, 87, 86, 87. That card looks disgusting as well. But oh wait, you could then put them into the showdown winner's boost, which get the, gets them yet again another upgrade. And this could be the card if City win. Like, that's unbelievable. That is a team of the season level center back card in early March that you can get if the stars align. And it's not even that crazy, right? City win. You put him into the upgrade evolution and you get this card. That's incredible. For 370,000 coins or less because of crafting, unbelievable. Unbelievable right there. That's crazy. And even for this card, what even is that? That is a that's a June almost level card on this game. Um, that's insane. So I think this is absolutely incredible. And the thing is, be very careful with this showdown winner's boost, okay? Be very, very careful with it because you can only do it one time and it's a it's out during the entirety of the showdown series. And here's the problem. The problem I foresee with this is it's gonna be best used on a card that gets upgraded within the first couple of days or a showdown that gets released in the first couple of days of this promo. If EA take their time and take too long upgrading these showdown cards, guys like Felix and Depay whose showdowns might not be released for the next two, three, four days and their games aren't for literally two weeks might not be able to be upgraded in this because the evolution might expire before those cards are actually upgraded. So as long as EA are okay with their upgrade times, that evolution, I love the idea. Like, we'll see how the actual um, going through with it works. But I love the idea of that Evo. I think it's super duper insane. And uh, GG's EA. You're getting a lot of people right now in this game to spend coins and to take fodder out of their club because this content is genuinely good. But I will always say... I'll take it, right? If content is good, I will take losing some coins. I will spend some coins when content is good, and this is good content. Now, since it's good content, and since that center back Akanji is the most hyped SBC of yesterday, what do you think happened to center backs, especially Premier League center backs? Oh, they're down bad. Take a look at Konate. Even though there's an injury scare too, which evidently was maybe just precautionary. I don't know how bad his injury is. We'll probably figure out more here pretty, pretty soon. Konate went from 
477,000 coins out of packs down to 388. He didn't get packed anymore yesterday. He got panic sold. Gavardiol, same thing. Gavardiol got upgraded yesterday, guys. We looked at his card. Is one of the road to the finals that got upgraded. He went from 1.4 million all the way down to almost 1 million coins. As yes, there is so much hype for this Akanji card. Center backs are down bad because of how good these SBCs are. And that's once again, I'm okay with losing a little bit of coins. Or maybe even if you lost coins yesterday, it's better to lose coins when the content is good. And that is how the showdown content was yesterday. Now, to move on from that a little bit, because that is the most insane part, we did have another SBC yesterday with Jarzinho. It's not as good over here, right? Five-star, four-star, Jarzinho is nice. But bro's price on the market um, was 300k less than his SBC. This is a 16-squad SBC, which features four 89 squads inside of it. Two milli on the market. The SBC is... 2.2 2.3 so that is very unfortunate and it does not give me high hopes for how the yashin winter wildcards sbc could be priced on this game as well i'm a little worried about that but hopefully yashin comes out and is better we also had an 81 plus double upgrade that was released yesterday an 83 plus team league player pick and then the daily showdown challenge which you make sure to do each and every day kind of treat that as a daily login if you will because the other packs that you get as a part of the promo. So that was all the SBC objective content that was going on, and there was a lot, but there's even more, right? With the campaign re-release, I didn't pack any of these cards yesterday. I was trying. I opened a bunch of player picks. I opened um, even the one store pack that everybody is talking about that had Team of the Years in it, which was mental in its own right. We'll talk about that in a second, but I did not hit any of the re-release cards. I wouldn't say that the pack weight's terrible because I've been tweeted multiple times of people who have packed some pretty crazy players, but then also some of the more middle tier to lower tier fodder players as well. I do believe there is, oh, 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 there we go, 87 rated Lautaro. Guess where that's going? To the exchange. Also because I don't want to have duplicates right now, and I want to show you guys the store. Um, but uh, there was an issue yesterday with a couple of informs that were being released, re-released into packs. They had a max price range of 20,000 coins. And uh, that was a mistake. But if you guys are wondering, what is the full list of players in packs? The easiest way to find it is to go over to foot.gg. And if you go to their main page, you click on Showdown Series in packs. It'll show you all the players that are right there in packs and their prices. Because a lot of those prices, of course, have dropped off big time. Barella is 129,000 coins um, after he was yesterday before being re-released. 400k. Like, that is a, like, 70% drop-off in price. 80% drop almost. Okay, not quite 7. It's 65-ish, right? That's a huge price drop-off uh, for him there. Ramos, actually, who I just picked up a card of, um, under 400,000 coins. He dropped off from, like, what was he? six 700K? 800,000 coins down to 400,000 coins where I just picked up one just because I thought that was a little bit too cheap. But those cards are in packs, and they're dropping so much, guys, because EA is running massive, massive lightning rounds. They're, they are running lightning rounds right now that are better than the lightning rounds that they put out during Team of the Year, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Why is EA trying to sell crazy, crazy packs right now like the 85 times 7 multiple times per day, the Super 86 Plus pack, and the 83 times 100? Why are they doing this right now? I mean, yes, there's a re-release of cards and packs, but like, it feels like they messed up by not doing some of these lightning rounds when the full team of team of the year was in packs and we didn't see that sort of stuff. But regardless, they're running these lightning rounds right now. They are trying to chase the bag and it's impacting all those re-release special cards for sure because people open these packs. If you look at the odds, look at this. Like you got a whole bunch of different cards listed in here with odds to potentially pack. That makes people excited and they want to open these, right? It's also impacting fodder in 85 times seven. Guess what? It's making 85s drop because you're going to get a lot of 85s in that pack they are low again i still think it's a decent investment but if ea keeps running these lightning rounds all week long those fodder prices probably aren't going to go up as much as we originally expected because ea is supplying all of those cards a lot more i don't think it's a terrible investment i still think if you get these in the low 4k range you'll probably end up doing okay because also ea don't often keep running lightning rounds like this after the weekend and we're getting daily sbcs that will be coming out for showdowns which if they continue to be this good will definitely make fodder demand go up so fodder is low it is very low 84 is our literally minimum price which is crazy um and i'm still holding on to all of the high rated fodder that i have we still have a yeshin sbc we still have more sbcs that could be coming out um 
And these cards are actually holding their prices very well. They're still 31 75 or 32,000 coins for 89s. They're still holding their prices very well with these packs in the store. So I would say to hold on and to lazy list that top tier fodder like I'm still doing. I don't see it dropping a bunch. Um, because these lightning rounds will end eventually, and less and less people are going to open these lightning rounds as the weekend goes on. Now, that's not even the biggest pack from yesterday. The biggest pack that was dropped yesterday, if you missed it, was a pack that actually gave out the opportunity of packing Team of the Years. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Now, I opened it. I got sucked into it right away. It was a 50,000 coin pack called the First Half Encore Grab pack Bag. And we mentioned this in yesterday's video because we read the pack code and we were like, wait a second, that could include Team of the Years. And it did. This might be the first time ever that after, two months after Team of the Year has been dropped, they're actually packable again. Very few people are getting Team of the Years from these. Less than 1% chance of getting one. I packed like some 86 rated guy from uh, the um, whatever promo that gave you all the chemistry. Uh, radioactive promo, right? That's what I got. A lot of you guys got nothing, but there were some good pulls from this. It's literally a $2 pack. This is EA trying to go out and get $2 times however many million people they can get to open it. Uh, it's a pretty smart idea, to be completely honest, um, and it got me to do it. I spent 50 k I also probably made about 50 k hopefully, yesterday after getting some lazy sales and some flips, so that paid for it. But uh, a lot of people opened this pack for the chance at getting a team of the year, and honestly, that is crazy that that was even released. But they also dropped some pretty big store packs as well. We have a 600,000 coin pack, a 500,000 coin pack, and then a lot of these packs that contain the Winter Wild Cards icons, the old promo cards. In my opinion, guys, not worth opening. But what I am opening right now are exchange packs and still the 81 plus player picks. Is that Sokka or Beth Mead? Love that. Love that. Let's go, Beth Mead. 87 rated from an 87 rated exchange. That is perfect for the crafting, for the rinsing, and for still running through the menus with a lot of the exchange SBCs and getting fodder to do the SBCs like Akanji, like Bobby Clark if you want to be crafting those, and everything else that is still out right now. I literally just finished a couple of hours ago. I tweeted about it after he scored in his game. There are still FC Fantasy SBCs that you want to keep an eye on. Chris for Rich, this guy right here, I don't know if you guys saw this or not, he is going to be getting upgraded to a uh, 90 rated card because he scored and Stuttgart won their second game. He's going to a 90. If they score a couple, or what is it? Once he plays in one more game after this, he's going to go to a 91 rated card. This is now a must-do SBC as he is going to probably get a plus three in the next two weeks. And that is just an insane card for 100,000 coins. So I love stuff like that. Very craftable still right now in the menus. And a lot of games. We'll talk about fantasy cards here in a second. A lot of games still to come this weekend. Now, one thing I do want to mention with these cards dropping in price, as we're still on the topic of conversation around the packs and the re-release and how it's impacting these cards in the market, right? I picked up a Ramos for 385 because he was literally 800K. And, and now he's down to 400K. I'm going to hopefully try to sell this for like... 430 to 440 and just make you know 20 30 thousand coins of quick flip profit but with these cards dropping as much as they are be very careful because this is going to start to correct the rest of the market as well and i do believe that it could cause the beginning of some of what you might call the the march market crash the foot birthday market crash which i do think we are going to see a big market correction still on some of the cards in this game as foot birthday is going to be crazy we warned about it a couple of weeks ago maybe a week ago i'll warn you guys again about it today uh this is the sort of thing that happens especially with the content that we had people are People are losing coins at a pretty fast rate from all the SBCs that are doing opening those store packs getting tempted to do those There's gonna be a lot of coins lost over the weekend and over maybe even this whole next week on this game So if you have team of the year cards if you have very expensive double play style plus cards from promos Maybe like future stars or anything like that those really expensive cards be careful All right proceed with caution and if you don't want to lose coins or even lose that much coins at all this is maybe a decent time to get out early albeit i don't think their prices are going to crash today or tomorrow but over the next couple of weeks especially this next week you'll want to be very very careful with those now that is all of yesterday's content crazy day right a lot to look over and honestly very surprising from ea i don't know how much better it's going to get than that to be completely honest but it's giving me hope that today with our daily showdown sbc it could be a good one, all right? And this is what we're expecting today, just based off of the dates and when these games are actually going to be played. We're looking at the game that is happening on Monday between Newcastle 
and Chelsea. It is Isak versus Chilwell. And I've shouted it once. I'm going to shout it again. I have high hopes, especially now, after how good Akanji and Bobby Clark were. I have very high hopes for this showdown SBC, especially for Isak. Isak could be him, guys. He's four-star, five-star base, as always. And if they're going to start these cards as an 89-rated base and then upgrade it, upgrade them based off of that... I mean, even if they do Isak as an 88, we looked at his Winter Wild cards in yesterday's video. Give this guy a plus three or a plus four just to start off with. Give him a second playstyle plus. Um, he could be really, really good, man. So I'm very excited for this SBC today. Same thing with Chilwell. I do believe this is the most likely showdown that would be dropping on the game today. And I hope that the price of the SBC would be solid again as well. And it could be another opportunity for us to even upgrade them further based on the outcome of this game with the evolution. Again, you can only do that EVO once, so be careful in doing it too early. But especially for this weekend, it is prem heavy, I think, with the schedule and how these games are playing out. So watch out for that. That is the most likely showdown to be dropped today in this game. But also, it did say here in the menus, um, and of course, we know our leaks, right? Yashin has been leaked to be coming as an SBC. Probably, I mean, now more hyped, I would argue, than the Jarzinho uh, that was dropped yesterday as well. And you even see it here in the menus. It says, it's kind of behind my face cam, but it says, tune in for Icon SBCs releasing during the Showdown series, right? And of course, you got Jarzinho. Yashin is the next one that could be released. And the fact that it was Centurion's Jorginho makes me believe that it would be center back Yashin, the Winter Wild Cards variant of this card. Um, hopefully the SBC itself is less than 1.4 million. Like 1.3 to 1.4 would be nice. If it's 1.2, that would be kind of crazy uh, for this Yashin card. And I hope that it's good because we need another one like that. I know we just had a Kanji, but this would be a, a one that a lot of people would love to craft over time just to have a fun card. And again, with the menus the way they are with the exchanges and the player picks and stuff, it is still a good SBC. It could be craftable. So that could be today. It also might not be. Maybe they'll space out the icon of species a little bit more than the showdowns but then guys you also know my prediction i've mentioned this earlier on this week um i am predicting another upgrade pack sbc today we'll see if ea follow their schedule because they have been over the past two times they've had the same progression 83 times 10 has come out then the 84 times five and then what followed after that was the least type of the three the 82 times 20 happened during team of the year happened during uh, future stars and this SBC is just not as hyped because it requires two squads of players not just one and the requirements don't make sense yeah you're getting 20 players but why do you have to turn in an 86 rated player and an 83 rated squad for one of those uh, segments and then also an 85 rated squad with an inform this is not as hype of an SBC but it will still be I guess craftable with the player picks that is still out the 81 plus and of course the 81 plus double upgrade or the crafting Actually, is the crafting uh, SBC going away soon? Uh, yeah, okay, it's going away literally today. So if you're trying to get that done, make sure you hurry up and get that done. I'm still just basically hitting player picks for the most part. Um, so the 82 times 20, I don't think it's going to be that hype today. Un unless we get something different, I don't expect Team of the Weeks to rise. I know a lot of people are really watching Team of the Weeks right now. Um, but with all the store pack supply that we have, how much are they, like 31K or something? 30, 31,000 coins for a team of the weeks. They are inflated right now because of the 84 times five. And if something comes out that is not as good as the 84 times five, which is the 82 times 20, I don't expect these to do that well. That's just my opinion. It all depends on what upgrade pack SBC we get. If the 8310 comes back out, or maybe the 84 five refreshes again, and they break the streak of what they've been doing, then those could go up. But I think it's if it's the 8220, those aren't going to do that good. So we'll just have to see. And then speaking again of fodder in general, if you want to try to invest for something fodder-wise, I think 84s at 1.2 to 3 is like the safest investment in the game. 85s as well for the low 4K range. Get on some bids. It feels very, very safe. And if they keep dropping good value SBCs, especially for the showdowns, I think... Those are going to start to rise up in value. Now, also, hold on. I just forgot about this, too. I think the Icon player pick is refreshing today. Um, I believe that is so. Let me go double check here at the back. 87 plus base Winter Wild Cards Team of the Year Icon pick. It doesn't show on here, but I'm pretty sure that this does refresh on Saturdays. Um, 
uh, I'm trying to check on Footbin right now as well, and it doesn't say. But if this refreshes today, then that would obviously mean some movement, movement as well in the 86, maybe the 87 rated range. They haven't moved a ton, but that could be possible today as well. So watch out for that. Um, I don't think we'll get any new icon player pick or hero player pick until tomorrow on Sunday. But that'd be something to watch out for if that does come out. There could be some more movement. And there's still going to be movement on these campaign re-release cards today as well. I think they're going to run the same lightning rounds again. So there should be supply. Um, but some of these cards have dropped off so much. A lot of times you do see some opportunities for fluctuation trading, which is why I have picked up the Ramos, picked up a Trippier on bid. Um, and I've been watching some of these other cards. Like I missed out on Teo Hernandez. He went from 400K up to 470 where he is now. Uh, Bellingham is so low. He dropped off so much. Like I wouldn't be surprised if some people look at the market today and they say, oh, wow, I have not been able to use Fire Ramos because I haven't been able to afford him. But now he's 400K. Let's go give him a try. And he's very rare. You know, that sort of thing. So there could be some fluctuations with the cards and packs. It would be pretty risky. But what we're really watching out for today, you guys know this, is the FC Fantasy cards. We actually even had some movement yesterday with Politano drawing. Napoli drawing to Torino. So no fourth and final upgrade for him. That is his final card. He's the cheapest 90 rated card in the game right now, which is kind of wild. Uh, the people panic sold him. But I'm watching Matson today. Um, wow, Geese is going back up. Um, wait, what's going on with Ken Dreva? 19k? Okay, that is a, that's a crazy undercut. He's still 28,000 coins. They play today. Uh, Chiesa is going up right now. I'm seeing in price right there. Declan Rice is going up. Gundogan is down because Barca won, but he didn't goal or have a goal or assist. He actually missed a penalty. Pedro Porro is going up a lot because he's expected to play this weekend, um, and he wasn't before. So these cards are just holds if you bought the fodder ones, but if there's risk for no upgrade today, selling in the hype is always the safe route. Uh, that's the safe results, right? I have some Molina that I bought at 34 to 35K, and he's 38. I really think he has a good chance. He actually has a possibility today. Um, if they win, keep a clean sheet, and he starts for the clean sheet, he could go to a 90-rated card, which would be a unbelievable upgrade but that seems also maybe a little bit too good to be true but a lot of upgrades are on the line for those cards today so be watching those games very carefully if you're invested you need to be paying attention to those games because today there will also be price drops 100 there are going to be some cards that don't hit their upgrade points like gundawan yesterday and there will be some price drops there will be some upsets and you want to be very careful with those also one thing to watch out for today is some other sort of gameplay grind but watch out for it potentially in the milestones tab because once again it is a season that is ending this next week right so it, maybe they drop some draft objectives maybe they don't drop anything at all i think there's some pro event going on this weekend as well emls stuff so maybe there's something related to that today or tomorrow on this game as well. There's just a lot going on right now, guys, because Showdown Series actually surprised us with some really, really good content. But that's going to be the video for me today, guys. I yapped for long enough. Go enjoy your Saturdays, and I appreciate you guys tuning in the channel and watching these videos on the daily. But if you enjoyed today, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys on a video tomorrow. It's been Nate for the Peace. Out.